I'm Dylan Black. There's a very unique pop-up dinner coming to showcase Filipino-inspired cuisine. With more details right now, uh, we have the owner of the Asian Alley, uh, Hong Do, with us. And nice to see you here. Thanks. Nice to see you here. <laughs> Good to have you on the show. We also have a Vanessa Augustine as well with Illustrato Services. Hi, how are you? Wonderful to see you. Uh, Hong, can you tell us about the Asian Alley? So where exactly are you located? I'm located in the Bywood Market uh, between Zach Steiner and Blue Cactus. Very easy to right find. Right next to the Cupcake Lounge. Okay. Uh, how long has uh, Asian Alley been around for? Uh, we've been around for four years now. Four years. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, what exactly, so, so what we're talking about here is a little different from what you do at Asian Alley. So what do you uh, specialize in? At Asian Alley, we started out with a lot of Vietnamese and Southern Chinese cuisine. And our goal was to start um, traveling with, uh, with food to different uh, Asian countries. So we'll search for off the beaten path in the food and we'll create it, we'll get it tested out and approved by some, uh, some people who are actually uh, native to the food mm -hmm. and then start serving Ottawa uh, yeah. so that they can explore and discover things that's just not commonly available anywhere. All right, serve it up to hungry Ottawans. All right, can you tell me Vanessa what Illustrato Services is all about then? So Illustrator Services is a mobile catering service um, with our owner, private chef, Jill Aranas. Uh, so she does small, uh, small events. Okay. Small events. Yeah. The fair enough. So, so she created this pop-up event that's going to be taking place? Yes, that's right. So what is the purpose to this pop-up cuisine uh, night that's happening? So the purpose of the event is to let everyone know about Filipino cuisine. It's not very popular yet, but it's just to be aware of the culture and the tradition and just to pretty much show Filipino hospitality in Ottawa. Okay, so what exactly is Filipino cuisine then? What, what's the difference between uh, what, what Hong would do or, or any type of cuisine, Italian? I mean, what's the difference? Yeah, so Filipino cuisine is actually kind of hard to describe. It's a lot of a mix of Spanish, Chinese, um, but mostly it's about, we use like soy sauce and vinegar a lot in our food. And it's just simple ingredients like tomato, garlic, and onions. Mm -hmm. So it's simple, simple food, but very comforting. Okay, what types of meats would you have so, in Filipino cuisine? Yeah, we have lots of seafoods actually. Seafood, beef, goat, chicken, mm -hmm. that's what we, and a lot of vegetables also. Okay, I know we're going to be enjoying something here in moments. How much time do you need here? Because we don't want to run out of time because I understand at the end, I will be eating some of this with my bare hands. That's right. I'm so gonna we're going to get real messy and that's why we had this segment last, I think. Uh, so <laughs> how long do you need to put this together? Um, it'll take me about like less than a minute. Less actually. than a minute. Okay, fair enough. Now, what exactly are you going to be cooking up? What is this so dish? So today, uh, Chef Joe prepared for us. It's called caldereta. It's a beef short rib stewed in peanut and tomato sauce. Okay. Now, I understand, Hong, that you have not really sampled this type of cuisine yourself. Is yeah, that something that you're very, very familiar with? It is not something I'm familiar with. I hear about it. I know that Filipino cuisine also has a lot of grilling, barbecue, and outdoor uh, cooking. Yeah. And But personally, this is a first time for me as well, and I like that idea of trying an adventure. Okay. in the culinary world. Are you going to be eating with your hands as well? We're both going right to be Right after you, I'll go right for it that? too. Okay, we can do it at the same time. Okay, so perhaps maybe you can get that ready just to make sure we don't run out of time. Um, so, uh, uh, Vanessa, if you'd like to get that ready, and while you're getting that ready, can you tell us about the event itself that's taking place on uh, Sunday, April 1st? Okay, so the event is on April 1st, and it, there's going to be two time slots, which is 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. at the Asian Alley. Okay. And it's going to be a a first Filipino pop-up actually in Ottawa so it's going to be really interesting and adventure if you're very adventurous I think you should really come. yeah <laughs> okay all right so while you're preparing that uh Hong can you maybe tell us uh, how many uh, seats are available at the Asian uh, Alley uh, at the Asian Alley we have about uh, 34 seats and uh, if you want to prepare that and um, ideally we're looking to for groups of four to six because for those groups we're going to do a family style meal okay. where everyone shares and grabs off of the, grabs the food from a central um, plate set up so that okay. just to give that more authentic Filipino feel. So it's obviously I mean it's your restaurant but do you know exactly what's going to be served at this point? 
Uh, we I do have a there's a menu um, uh, posted up in the online. Uh, okay. Under the at Illustrato um, uh, ha uh, tag. Okay. And but I think the, I know the dessert's going to be a yam. Yeah. Um, it an good. ube, a purple yam uh, uh, dessert that's going to be paired with the uh, white water beer. Uh, they're sponsoring uh, that component of okay. the event, and then there's going to be a pork. Um, Sounds good. With liver, although don't let the uh, don't let the concept of liver uh, turn you off because um, it's probably prepared extremely fresh and uh, and proper. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so what type of meat is this again? Sorry? So this is beef short rib. Beef short rib, so that sounds pretty good. Now, now, you are saying that it's okay for me to just eat this with my hands, that's so right. my bare that's, hands. That's how traditionally we would eat, actually. Yeah. Um, banana leaves and just using your hands. Okay, so, so why, what is the significance, or, or why do you usually just use your hands and well, don't believe in forks, which is okay? That's okay. Um, <laughs> we actually use forks and spoons also, but um, during the colonization period, we had to feed a lot of soldiers, so yeah. we would just lay out banana leaves, People and just they eat. would just come and... All right, fair enough. Yeah, all right, so I just, I just go right into that. So, I don't yeah, think Hong's going to want any of this after, <laughs> but uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Pimple is hot. Want to get in there, Hong? Well, you're be in my way there. All right. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> if you want to explain to me, it's yeah. my first time too, so I'm just going to grab... Let's just grab like a meat. Okay. And then grab a little bit of rice. Oh, did I do just it wrong? Is what you're in. saying? And just push it into it wrong, the right? meat. Okay, okay, we're pressing okay. it into the meat. <laughs> and then what do we do with the vegetable? Just top yeah. it on. Okay. Asian Ali okay. got see more vegetable. details on, of course, his amazing restaurant and this uh, wonderful uh, pop-up that's going to be taking place mm, to showcase Filipino-inspired cuisine. Mm. Have a good day.